point is Chelsea have set the bar themselves initially with some ludicrous crisis last summer and January for for players who weren't, you know, considered really worth a fraction of worth what they paid for them. And then the Saudis came in and inflated it all again. Uh, and, you know, suddenly we're in the middle of a world recession, which is supposed to bring sanity to us all. Uh, football's going absolutely crazy again. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how it's all sustainable, certainly not Stamford Bridge. These long-term contracts, I look forward to seeing them all playing in their 30s at Stamford Bridge because no one can afford to pay their wages, however good they are. Um, yeah, although they're supposed to be coming in at slightly lower wages than some of the, the guys going out. So so there have been some savings there at Chelsea. But yeah, the whole thing has, has gone mad. You know, Declan Rice as well. There have been a few high-profile players who've come to the end of their contracts as well that have set sort of various markers and um, and you know uh, and that that's kind of dictated the way that the, the mark has gone and it is the fear of dropping out and missing out on the Champions League on the Premier League that make people gamble money they possibly don't really have to, to make sure they stay in there and uh, yeah the, again we've been predicting the bubble bursting for football for for such a long time, yeah, you, you get bored saying it, but there are going to be clubs that go by the wayside, lower down the pyramid, that, that are trying to keep, you know, keep up with the Joneses or whatever. And uh, in the meantime, we keep seeing these headline amounts and players now struggling to, to live up to that. Like it's the first time Harry Kane's been playing with a prize tag. Um, so, you know, that, that that's, a good, that's a new dynamic for him. And, you know, He's just one example of, of individuals now we're tuning into to say, literally, to decide, are they worth it? Because there's so many question marks over individual players now that are sort of dynamic for the neutral. Instead of watching how this team's getting on, they want to kind of see how this £100 million player's doing. And it's a lot of individual pressure on players that there's through no fault of their own just because the market's gone mad. But, but there's a lot of people looking for people to fail this season, which is a very negative uh, emotion, but yeah, there's there's a number of people set up for a fall this year.